Ooh, shiny. Don't mind if I do. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Cobalman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to swap a uh, laptop hard drive with a larger SSD hard drive. This hard drive already has an SSD, 128 gigabyte um, hard drive in it, but we're going to swap it out with 480 gigabyte. And this is a brand new laptop, okay? This is a business class HP laptop. I'm just going to, if you're interested, I'm just going to put a description of it right there. Okay, so in order to do this, we're just going to have to flip it over real quick here. And this particular laptop has a um, one piece backing of it. Like a lot of other laptops, you'll have a bunch of little covers here for just specifically for a um, just for a hard drive but this one just has one one solid piece in the back so we're just gonna pop that open and see what's going on back there so first I'm just gonna unlock it right here I'm just gonna move this back I'm just gonna slide it back <clears throat> I'm just gonna slide it back a little bit here I'm gonna pop that open I'm just gonna position it this way so you guys can see it and here's our original lap, um, hard drive right there and here we have uh, four little screws that we're just going to unscrew first so there's one right there one right there one right there and one right there and we're just going to loosen them up so these screws, screws don't actually um, come out all the way they have a little spring underneath them so when you open them you're going to know when they just become loose and just going to leave it like that they never actually fall out of it because this is just a frame holding this um, hard drive in okay so I'm just going to do that. So I'm just going to unscrew it and see how it got loose. Uh, let me just bring this up a little bit more. See, it's now loose. It just kind of popped up a little bit. Okay. We don't want to unscrew it all the way out because we don't want it to come out. We just want to loosen it up. So let's go ahead and do the same for all the other ones. I'm just going to make this real quick. Same thing for the other one. It just kind of comes loose. It's actually a very simple process, and this is a brand new uh, HP laptop business class, as I mentioned, and we're just upgrading to a bigger size um, SSD. <clears throat> it would be the same difference if it had a regular hard drive in it. So after we're done loosening these up, we're just going to pull on this little tag. You guys can see that probably. So this little tag, we're just going to yank on it. Okay, and now we got our hard drive out. As you can see, those are connections. You know, there's our serial port and there's our power connector right there. And here we just got to loosen these uh, to hold this little frame in. We're just going to loosen all these these little screws right here. Same thing on the other side. This is what's holding um, the hard drive itself in, so that way it can be retrieved easier. Okay, so we're just going to loosen those real quick. Okay, make sure you don't lose these little screws. Um, they do come loose really easily too, so. Uh, once they fall out, just make sure you don't lose them real quick. Okay, that's two. And we got two more. Okay. Two more. Or one more, I should say. Oops. See how they get loose real quick? Um, if, if this is something I've done all the time, I would have certainly have a magnetic tray, but um, since I usually don't, I'm more of a software person, but here we go. Anyways, once you're done, you can just pull this out, you know, it just comes out. See, it's, now it's loose, we can just pull it out. And then here, we're going to put our brand new one the same way. We're just going to slide it in the same way. It's going to fit perfect. And I know this one looks bigger, and slightly is, actually. Um... Um, but it's going to fit perfect, trust me. And then we got to make sure we put these screws back in so it holds back. So the, the plate itself is attached. Okay. This might take a little bit longer here, so I'm just going to speed up on the video here. Uh, just a quick note, you don't want to tighten this end one here all the way down first until you get this other one. You see how I struggled a little bit with the, this one here? It's because I tightened this one too fast all the way down. So you don't want to tighten that first all the way down. So um, just leave it a little bit loose and then tighten this one. And the same thing for the other one. Let's 
same way. So now that we have it attached back to our um, holding uh, brackets or uh, frame, if you will, we can just slide it back in and we can do so by position it. So you just position it down like this over it and then just push it in. And then we're going to retighten these screws back up. You notice how these, uh, you notice how these screws didn't fall out on the frame at all because they're not supposed to. I'm just going to tighten this rail, rail back up real quick and we're almost done here and of course notice there's no battery in here because it's a brand new laptop so the, the lap battery hasn't been put in yet but I can show you how to put that in real quick so this particular laptop is one of these um, um, really thin ones and this one just goes in you just kind of slide it in from the back and oops I have it wrong way you just uh, there's little uh, latches right there so you just uh, put it in like that and you just slide it in press it down and then lock it and if you want to pull that out there's this little uh, uh, little thing here you can just pull on so you just unlock it like so and then yeah, this one you have to hold and just pull it out and it comes out okay so we're just gonna lock this in put our plate back on like so lock it and then we're done after this all you got to do is install uh, operating system and you're good to go guys if you like this video go ahead and share underneath here or leave a, a comment if you will and i'll uh, see you next time thanks for watching bye bye